Welcome back, everyone, to Don't Stop. Doesn't this look familiar? We've caught another bird, and I don't really like to get these things because they don't always provide morsels. Sometimes they provide us with an azure feather, which is not at all what we need. What we do need right now is to go make our way over back into beefalo territory, try to shave them for some beefalo wool, and then hopefully create a winter hat that will last us through the remainder of this cold, harsh season. But before I do that, I feel like I want to prepare a little bit more, maybe by uh, by way of uh, getting a bit more food, or uh, something at least, that'll keep us uh, through these uh, harsh winter days. So let's go ahead and add a bit more fuel to this fire. I think the, uh, I think the pine cone, or the pine cone, the thermal stone here could stand to get a bit more warmth. There is a rabbit for us. I'm going to go ahead and keep setting the trap down here. Let's actually check these other traps up here, see if we got a, a few more morsels we could uh, use to cook up some grub. Oh my god, it's just getting so freezing cold so fast. This is a nightmare. My goodness. I don't even know how far away I can get, man, especially without the thermal stone. I don't have anything keeping me warm at the moment. The beefalo hat did its job for quite some time, but it, I it really have... Uh, Exhausted its usefulness. Going by the fire, my goodness, it actually takes a while for us to use that. Holy cow, that is starting to scare me. Okay, let's see. We've got another rabbit down here. We've got one meat morsel. We've got one little bit of honey, and I've got myself a monster meat drying on the rack that could potentially kill me. So this is... Oh, uh, this is starting to look like it's not the greatest scenario anymore. I feel, I feel like I have no choice but to at least try to venture out into the great unknown and hopefully find a way to make life worth living again. Obviously don't want to shave my own beard hairs for fear of the worst. Uh, I want to see actually if I can maybe uh, gather a few more resources on the way, maybe some food, a red mushroom. I can't remember if the red mushroom is good or bad for me, but I'd like to pick some up at least to, uh... oh my god, did I make it? Has the winter left? Oh, please tell me it's gone. The, the, the chill is out of the air at least. Did I make it through? Oh my goodness, this is the best day of my life. It's no longer freezing cold. Everything looks so much better. I'm going to build a shovel to celebrate. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> we made it through the winter. I am so happy. Oh, I wonder if it will come back. That's what I'm saying about the winter time, my friend. But uh, for now, I think we're okay. Now I know how to prepare better for sure. I've got to get myself some uh, additional resources man I actually wonder whether or not I'm, I'm gonna be uh, freezing maybe I could spend some time over by the beefalo again see if I could shave them up and uh, get some good resources that way that might be a good idea still I'm gonna keep this fire burning for a long long while hopefully I can maybe come back here and we'll be able to see it still going there's three more for that I've got to uh, make sure I'm doing this appropriately I've got to make some food first of all let's go ahead and cook this up make that some goodies I'm going to eat one red cap to see whether or not that's going to kill me. I'll find out, I'm sure. Alright, that depletes my sanity and does not help me at all. Maybe if I use it in the crock pot, we'll be uh, making something useful here. Let's see if I can just make one monster meat. Oh, this is spoiled. Alright, so this is not anything I'm going to want to use. I could probably feed a pig with this. This might actually be a good idea. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take some spoiled monster meat over to one of these pigs over in this area. And I'm going to see if I can get him to follow me. I'm going to build him his own pig house. His very own pig house. And I'm going to see if I can just have, like, maybe a permanent pig friend to come with me. Or maybe not. Maybe he's just going to turn out the lights on me and I'll be left cold and alone for the remainder of the evening. Oh, my God. This is not looking so great. I'm going to eat up that cooked morsel. Green mushrooms must be what's good for me, then. It looks about right. So we're going to have to cook up some green caps or something. Pick up another flower for the sake of my sanity. I'm going to keep walking around for a little bit here. I don't think I'm in too much danger of uh, running into things that might murder me. Starring Bear Taffy as Bear Taffy. Oh, man. Let's go back. Let's wander back down here. I'm going to pick up a couple more of these things. That looks like a good idea. I could also use some cut reeds. So maybe if I were to venture into the swamp territory, try to find a few more of those, I should be, should be very aware of the uh, the time of night it is, just to make sure I'm not uh, getting myself lost out here without a uh, without a light, up the river without a paddle, so to speak, or uh, up the cave without proper spelunking gear and a uh, and a right mindset. That's that's more along the lines of what I'm terrified of. All right, pick this thing up, run away immediately, get out of there, Chester, buddy. Come on, come on, you got it. There we go. 
I want these to continue producing food. For now, I am pretty sure I just need to rely on the uh, constant source of silk, spider glands, and uh, berries from our buddies down, down on the south end. All right, they are getting kind of aggressive here. I'm gonna grab a couple more grass bits. Still starving, which is the like antithesis of what we're trying to accomplish here. <laughs> I'm hoping these things help me out. I'm I'm very terrified to eat them raw, obviously, because. Things have not gone well in the past for me when I've put raw meat in my mouth. Boom! That's disgusting, Bear Taffy. Good God, what's wrong with you? Back to the campsite. Here we go. Green caps. Oh, don't snow again. Don't snow again. That's absolutely not what we need to have happen. Did I just get like, this is the eye of the storm of winter, I guess. That's not at all refreshing. I'm going to cook all these things here. I wonder if I can put a bunch of caps inside of the uh, crock pot. What would that do for me? All right, so that does that. This does not actually provide that much nourishment. In fact, I'm pretty sure it doesn't do anything. I can't really tell. Let's see if I can put these in the... Uh... Here, let's make this up. Oh, God, the winter's back, isn't it? Maybe it's getting a little bit warmer. I'm curious enough to see what happens when we do this, so I will do that. And, uh, damn, I really need to find some food now. Well, hopefully that actually makes something worthwhile, or else I'm uh, maybe boned here. We could try to dry some more monster meat. That might not be a terrible idea. I'm actually going to put some uh, some more logs inside of this. That looks like it might be something I can eat. It looks like it might be rat ratatouille, actually. Let's find out. Ratatouille, indeed. Nice! Okay, I can actually probably put three more green caps in. Oh, God, that was not what I wanted to do. That was a mistake. Maybe I can find a couple more caps. Let's see, harvest this again. I'm going to take another chance at eating the monster jerky, even though I'm pretty sure that can possibly just straight up murder me. I'm, I'm kind of worried about that. All right, everything's okay. We're going to make it through this night into day 35. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, feeling like we're making some stuff happen. I'm going to try to dry out this spoiled monster meat, and I'm going to try to use the rest to go make some pig friends come morning time. And there it is. Fantastic. All right, so it is still winter, unfortunately. I thought we were getting through it. I feel it may be warming up, so maybe if we get closer to the middle of the day, I'll be able to venture out without too much fear of freezing to death. Hopefully that's the case, at least. I do have a few more cut reeds I can turn into papyrus if I wanted to use something, or if I wanted to use those for a greater cause. Let's go ahead and wander through the unknown here. Probably want to build another shovel very soon so I can continue digging up Nightmare Fuel or something like that. But I still would very much like to go shave a couple of beefalo and uh, make ourselves up a winter hat. Let's see if I can make a pig friend here. Here you go, buddy. I know this is going to turn you into a uh, wear pig at some point. You is good. We friends? We are friends. Hooray! Fantastic. You know what? I actually might just give you the rest of this because it's not going to do me much good anyway. Here you go, bud. There you are. There you are. Have some of that delicious meat. You are a good pig, buddy. Your name is Pickles. That is a fantastic name for you, actually, Pickles. Good stuff. All right, let's go find the beefalo again. We're probably going to build a pig house for Pickles, man. I, I, that doesn't seem like such a bad idea, in my opinion. For now, I still need to go down, hopefully shave a beefalo or two, make them, uh, make them regret dwelling near my abode. Obviously, it's uh, their fault for, uh, you know, trying to further populate their species and you know, act on their own and not interfere with my lifestyle in any way, shape, or form. HOW DARE THEY! Incredibly rude. Okay, it's raining now, so that's a very good thing. That means hopefully the winter time is indeed subsiding. It's kind of pitter-pattering away at the uh, little bits here. There are some beef flow. Very nice. Can pick up the manure they've got for me as well, if I can remember how to do so. Good stuff. I probably don't want to attack them. That would probably get this dude killed. No more goodies over here, unfortunately. We'll go ahead and pick up that monster tooth. We've got a few of them. Wow, man, that's four hounds tooth. That's cool. I think I want to wait for them to fall asleep, so I'm going to go wander around this other area for now, see what else we can find. I've got a full inventory. I probably should have been aware of that. More seeds would probably be good. I can just cook those up and eat them. Actually, I can just go ahead and eat those now. Those provide me with something like uh, five. Yeah. Oh, my God, berries are growing. Berries are growing again. The miracle of... Seasonal progression. It is real, and there is lightning striking very nearby. That's horrifying. I should probably be concerned about that. Might need some kind of, uh, lightning handling mechanism. He's so happy. I've made his, I made his entire life, man. This is, this is a good feeling for me. I like it. 
Are carrots? Oh my god, carrots are starting to show up again. This is fantastic. And then there's snow. Why must you toy with my emotions? Don't starve. Please, I just want to feel good. I just want to be happy about our surroundings. Not have to feel as though I am at, day at risk of death everywhere I go. I'm just wasting these carrots, man. Just trying to pick them up and eat them as soon as I get them. Let's grab some more seeds. I'm just going to eat all these, actually. We're going to eat all four seeds in the inventory. Make room for some carrots. We can use those for cooking. Probably much better purpose. My god, look at this, man. We're looking good. It might be time for me to go uh, investigate the possibility of a shadow manipulator again. That would be fantastic if I could get that built up. I'd also like to build, you know, maybe another drying rack. Another crock pot could be good. We could get a lot more things going that way, although that might be a big waste of resources if I were to try to build another crock pot. That starts to sound like what that is. Oh, man. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I really think we have made it through the winter time, man. This is fantastic. I'm going to put this red cap away, actually. I don't really want that anymore. Maybe you want it. Want that? Is that good? Yay, manure! That's fantastic. I love it when you take a dump on the lawn. <laughs> That's my favorite part of you, pickles. As a vegetable and as a pig friend. Don't you love it when pickles hop out of the jar and take a dump on your front porch? America. More grass, more twigs. No real big hurry. I think we're okay uh, staying out for the evening, although Pickles seems to be worried about something. Gathering a bit more food. We're uh, just exploring the remnants of what's down here. I don't actually recognize this uh, this floor pattern. Oh, God. That's that's probably why. Okay, well, might be time to build a fire camp, or uh, Pickles. Might be time for us to make a temporary abode. We've got everything we need to do it if it's uh, actually necessary. I think I'm going to go ahead and t test my luck getting up here near the beefalo again. we got this evening time that we set aside to try to shave them up. So let's see if we can do that very thing. I might be able to just build a fire near them and then utilize that space for uh, shaving. Actually, this fire pit might be close enough as well. If I can just go fuel that, uh, it might be, it might be good enough. Okay, they're not asleep yet. I have to wait until nighttime, unfortunately, so maybe I should just go ahead and build a fire nearby. That's probably not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Build a campfire very close to the beefalo lair. I imagine they'll still be able to fall asleep even though I'm so close to the, them with a big old source of light. Could be wrong about that, but hopefully we'll find out. I'm gonna make this nice and big, toasty warm. I'm gonna pick up a couple more manure sources. That's all well and good. Might even want to look into getting an improved farm going at some point here. That could be, uh, that could be useful for me. Let's just try to gather as many resources as we can before the actual proper night falls. Probably not going to be over here for a lot of grass uh, very soon. This is more than likely a wise use of our time over in Beefalo Country. What would be B the Beefalo Country equivalent? What would be the equivalent of Beefalo Country, rather, in uh, in the States, I'm wondering? Probably, probably Texas. Texas would probably be Beefalo Country, right? Texans, give me a hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. That was a quick hell yeah, man. You type hell yeah very, very fast. I'm amazed by you, Texans. Texans, I think I love you. Let's, let's go to, let's go to the courts together and secede as a nation, shall we? That sounds like fun. <laughs> Texas out there, you want to secede as a nation? Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you. We almost done here. I think they're going to fall asleep pretty soon. Let's find out. Night has fallen. We have some cooked carrots. Things are going well. Ah, there we go. Ah, the majestic beefalo. Sleeps as night falls. It's big, it's heavy, and it's wood. You're goddamn right. Okay. Nice and easy here. We're going to equip our razor. Shave the beefalo. We got it. Okay. Don't have any more room in the inventory. I'm going to put these inside a chester here real quick. I think we're okay. Oh my god, I got one. I got the beefalo wool. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. That's fantastic. I'm gonna actually build a torch real quick. I'd like to, uh... I'd like to try... to get even more. There's a little bit more here, actually. Oh my god, I got a lot of it. This guy is bare naked. That's disgusting. I used a pun. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see. I can probably shave one more. See if I can rotate this around. Shave this guy. Oh, he's alright. He's not disturbed by it. This is good. Oh my god, that's so much wool. Oh, that's so useful. 
wonder if I can shave the kids. They don't they really have that much, but it might be, uh, no, I can't really do it. Okay. There isn't even any stubble left. Well, we've got what we came for. Pickles is back. Let's shave Pickles. <laughs> That's probably not going to work out for me. Okay. Oh, he's so adorable, Pickles. All right. The Knight of 35. Sounds like an infantry unit. The Knight of 35 was a success. Acquired what we wanted. It looks so sad now. Oh, no. Oh, I've made them miserable. Now I feel like a dick. Oh, I took away their beautiful wool. God damn it. Come on, game. Why you gotta make me feel feelings? It's not what I play this for. I want to be able to avoid that completely. I want to be completely disparate of feelings. That's the intention. Jeez. God, I, I, I gotta report myself to PETA, man. This is ridiculous. Let's go back and make some food first. I've got a 9% torch that I probably just burnt through without any regard for human life. I probably should go back to Pigtown and collect those berries. I'm also going to try to build Pickles his own house deep inside our own territory. That'll probably help him out. Make him feel nice and welcome right at home. I'm going to put this azure feather away, of course. Can't really carry these seeds, unfortunately. My god, we walk fast with this walking stick. This is great. I am digging it. You are just hanging out. Apparently those turkeys are just wandering around because I've disrupted their homestead. Which I'm fine with, because screw turkeys, right? Hashtag F turkeys. Where are we heading now? There is uh, some green mushroom stuff. I haven't actually uh, spawned their crop of berries yet, but uh, let's see if we can make some stuff happen over here. See if pig friend will maybe try to take on the spider village again. There we go. There you go, guys. Come on. They're out and about. They're doing stuff. They want to kill. They want to start a war. They, they're trying to start the fire. They were yearning and burning since the world was turning, or, you know, whatever the hell happened. Who knows, man? It's just a song. It's not the world history lecture we had in 1997 about your history teacher having to, uh, Oh my god, they just immediately ate that pigskin. I wish they hadn't. They kind of saved me from that weird tangent I was going on, though, and I think I just attacked the pig on accident. Oh my goodness, I am running out of inventory space so quickly. Jester! Here you go, buddy. Keep that monster meat in there. Kill that thing. There we go. More silk for us. Wonderful. Another healing gland as well. I'm going to let this thing survive for now. No worries. I might as well... Uh, I can heal you. Which one is Pickles? Is Pickles coming with me still? I can't tell. I suppose we'll find out. I'm going to keep this in my hand for now. We're going to try to head back to the campsite. Probably try to equip my uh, walking cane, actually. Let's put this on here. There we go. I love juggling, man. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm... I'm I'm doing things optimally, even though that's that's quite the opposite meaning when I have to hold something in my mouse pointer as we're trying to make our way back to, ca back to camp. Okay. We're doing it, though. We got it going on. There's a rabbit stuck in the trap. We are actually growing berries. That is so refreshing to see. Caught some rabbits everywhere. Good stuff. This one's full. I think I actually have a chest that already has a bunch of spider glands. Actually, you know what? Chester has a bunch of spider glands, doesn't he? There we go. Wonderful! Alright, I've got to put some stuff away, first of all. I don't know where those feathers are, but i got to put this one with the rest of them. Let's see where those are at. There we go. Azure feather gets stuck right in there. And now I've got another thing to take care of. We're going to put the razor inside of this one. We are going to put the... Uh, what do we got? What do we got? we got these petals that I'm going to put inside of here as well. Probably make a garland at some point for the sake of my sanity. I've got beefalo wool that I'm going to turn into a wood... Or a winter hat, rather. Very shortly. There we go. There's that winter hat I want. Don't need it now, of course, because the winter has passed, but if we have one in the future, I'll be ready for it. Wonderful. A little bit left in this trap. I've got berries growing. Oh, man, it feels good. Damn, feels good to be a gangster. We're getting back into it, baby. Things are going well. i put this trap back down. I think that bee might fight the rabbit. That would have been amazing. <laughs> Who would win in a fight between a bee and a rabbit? Obviously the bee. That's not even a question. It's not even a question. I posed it as a declarative statement, very obviously. Uh, let's see what else we need to do here. I'm going to go ahead and put some fuel in the fire. I'd like to chop down some more trees, actually. I'm running very small. Running very small on my log supply. Let's make some stuff in the uh, crock pot here. This actually looks like it could be a nice concoction. Got three berries and some morsels. 
couple of rabbits to kill. And, uh, yes, this thermal stone, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put this down by the campfire because I don't really need to keep that in the inventory anymore. Log suit, obviously good to have. Twigs we can turn into some good stuff. Let's look into what else we can do here. Beefalo hat was a possibility. I actually had enough for it, but it didn't have the horn, and I think I, that requires killing one of them, so I probably don't want to do that. Oh, uh, let's see what else we can get. Don't really need anything else here. A bee mine could be cool. We actually need to catch some bees to get that going on. Oh, boy. Oh, the pig house. That's right. We wanted to get that. So let's go ahead and refine a few of these uh, cut stones. One, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. Now we're going to structures and pig house. An alchemy engine. We have that right here. Very nice. Shelters. One pig. Cool. Built a pig house right near our campsite. That's pretty fantastic. We're going to put it right up there. Looks good to me. There is your house. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, Pickles. I like you, Pickles. You make me happy. Ratatouille for me. I'm going to make some meatballs, of course, as well. I think I only need one of them. Let's see if I can do one meat and three berries, and we'll call that good. A meat effigy should be my next guess as well, or my next big uh, investment. Seems like a decent enough idea. Where you Actually, I don't know if I can harvest these yet. Looks like, yeah, it's going to be about the same value. They just look like they're not as... Uh, Effective, but it looks like it's producing the exact same items, so I guess there's no harm in uh, picking those up right now. The grass is actually growing near the campsite, which is awesome. Hopefully the saplings will follow suit pretty soon here. We've gotten through the very roughest time, man. I uh, I like my chances now. I, I feel like things are looking my way. They're gonna go your own way. Go your own way. I know music. I know music. Trust me, man. Whenever, whenever everyone tells you Bear doesn't know anything about pop culture, you say, yes, but he knows this one particular song from 1987 that uh, didn't really uh, have that much influence, to be honest. He also just made up the, uh, the year in which it was created, so, you know, he's a liar. That's, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, my goodness, I thought the fire was out already. That was going to scare me to bits and pieces. Good stuff. Get that going. I'm going to eat this, actually. Get us back up to solid, full health. Pig house is, is housing our good buddy Pickles. I like this, man. I like this right now. I'm going to make a shovel. Shovel seems like a good plan. I need some gold nuggets, too. That should probably be one of my, uh, one of my very soon-to-become important endeavors. Yes, yes, agreed. Shovel for now. I'm going to dig up some of these stumps, make better use of my time and territory. Seems like a good plan. Bam, bam, bam. Just, he's so private, that pickles. A private pickles, private pickles, yes. Uh, that would be like when, uh, when the Rugrats join the military. It's just like, there should just be a series of Rugrats movies that's just the Rugrats growing up in every single facet of life you could possibly imagine. Like, the Rugrats as... Military personnel, the Rugrats as, you know, like, midlife crisis, buying Ferraris and going to strip clubs and crying in the back room, thinking about what they did wrong in their lives. Then the Rugrats as senior citizens, geriatrics that are hopefully uh, not as delusional as they once were when they were children, but that would obviously provide for some higher quality entertainment. So, you know, what am I to judge about the, uh, the progression of Rugrats lifestyles? But for now, I'm just going to say thank you for watching Don't Starve on my silly little YouTube channel and not on Nickelodeon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We're into day 37. We have made it past the dreaded winter, I believe. Pretty sure it's over. It might just come back at some point. You never know. It's Don't Starve, after all. I'll see you next time.